Next question, and this is from Maximus from Norway, and he's asking, uh, what should I call myself on my branding? I used to be a speaker, MC, and host of events. What is the correct virtual spin, and will I lose gigs if I change, or more if I don't? I think this is a great question, uh, Maximus. And uh, let me just uh, share with you my thoughts. I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube <laughs> for a change. And uh, right now, the uh, term that most people are creating the reels on, it's virtual speaker reel. So they are creating their virtual speaking reel. However, uh, there's a number of other uh, terms which are also very important that you should use in your LinkedIn. So if you're going to be doing stuff in YouTube, make sure that you have virtual speaker, uh, virtual speaker, uh, sorry, virtual speaker. If you are going to be having in LinkedIn, uh, your, your profile should also say virtual speaker, virtual broadcaster. And uh, if you are going to be doing stuff on your website, make sure you include both. That is my take on it. That's what I have done. What are your thoughts, Dave? No, I would say so. Put as many different things down as you think are going to be relevant. I mean, I would. what you've got is some people who are old school who are looking to just do what they did before and they're looking for a speaker. But you've been waiting for three months for those gigs to come in. My thoughts are that those who haven't altered and started looking at virtual digital version of what they used to put together before are not really going to help you that much. I would put together anything that makes people find you and feel confident. And part of that, as Ernesto mentioned earlier, is that proof that you have been working during this time. But you haven't just been watching Netflix and, and eating popcorn and looking like the world is just dropped around you. Even if it has, you have to be seen to be doing something. So I would put, I would go for virtual speaker. I mean, mine is a virtual broadcaster, and I put it on the moment we went into lockdown. I changed it immediately because I thought we're not going to get gigs for a while and nobody's going to trust it. So virtual the definite, whether you call broadcaster, speaker, presenter, any of those are fine. You will be found. But I would guess that as a speaker, you probably can be hired by people looking for a speaker. So I would put that as a, as a main term. But by all means, put the rest of them as well. But have proof. Create evidence. We're going to be talking about that in a section about how to actually get gigs later on in the show. But I hope that helps you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And Ernesto, what, why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch.